Hey, jab it up, jab it up, jab it up, jab it up. Hey, jab it up. Hey, hey, jab it up, jab it up, jab it up, jab it up. I think I'm rich in a bitch. I can end on an appointment and shit. Hey, she think I'm rich as a bitch. She wanna go in and tell her friends. Yeah, I got the hoes in the whip. Yeah. And you motherfuckers are lucky. This shit's even happening, okay? Hot Carl is on a schedule, all right? Uh, this nigga is on a hella schedule. This is the reason why we're recording this bitch on a Monday yeah. instead of the Sunday, but it doesn't matter why because... Because we bring in live motherfucking content every single week. We're fucking doing it. Every goddamn week, we bring in this shit. Rain, sleet, snow, hail, any type of shit is going down. And that's the thing, man. So how are you feeling today, bro? Hot, dehydrated. I'm feeling like... A fucking Louis Vuitton bag. A oh, Louis yeah, Vuitton bag. Yeah, because yeah. if I'm gonna be leather, I'm finna be the leather on a Louis Vuitton bag. Okay, that's, so. that's interesting. That's interesting. Also, I'm gonna tell you motherfuckers like this. Look, hey, Young Dolph just put out this new album. How you gonna shout out Young Dolph? <laughs> no, not Young Thug. Young Dolph. You say Young Dolph, bro. I, I'm cool with Young Thug. I fuck with Young Thug. I'm cool with Young Thug. Oh, well, what's the beef with Young with Young Dolph? Uh. I can't recall his music. Oh, I can't recall his music right so now. He's a hater. Hater. I'm not. I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, y'all, we are tuned in right now. If you are on my live, which we got one person in this bitch right now, you are into chopping it up, y'all. If you're on the live, let me know. Do I look like a Gucci bag or do I look like a Louis bag? And you know what? It's crazy, dude. He's getting just as dark as I am. <laughs> Nobody wants to believe me when I say this. All right, I done said this multiple times, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm a black man. All right, I'm a black man living in a black society. Is, right? What is your percentage? What is your percentage? Two point eight, uh, South African, according to my uh, according to my twenty three and me. South. South African. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Nah, I'm bullshitting. I think it was like North Africa. <laughs> Whatever the hardest part of Africa is, that's me. Interesting, interesting, <laughs> man. So, man, how you feeling, this week, man? How, how are you doing, bro? What's I'm, up, man? Look, I'm feeling good. Let me tell you something about my dog. Okay. <sighs> My this is the reason why we're recording this today y'all, on Monday. The only reason why I wasn't able to make it yesterday, I'm chilling at the house. I'm getting a little bite to eat. You know, I'm having myself a hectic schedule. I give myself a second. I have some chicken wings. I go ahead. I give some to my lady. My lady thinks it's cool to let my dog eat the tips off of the wing. Just the tips? Just the tips, right? But I'm checking her. I'm like, don't. Put that bone in my dog's mouth, please. Bones are not good for dogs. At least, at least chicken bones, cooked chicken bones. And, and when I, she say "fuck you," I'm she's, the, she's I'm like, the pants in the right? "No, he's <laughs> just he's just eating the little corner piece. He's in the corner piece." So I go over there, and I'm about to yank the bone out of his mouth. This motherfucker, bro, he had it for like two seconds. He swallowed that whole bone whole, the whole thing. Didn't even chew it. Just oh, swallowed shit. the you whole fucking bone, like bro. That. So now I'm hot, and I'm like, "Fuck, I gotta take him to the vet." I go to the vet, late hours, 24-hour vet. Mm -hmm. If you go after hours, they charge you $300 just for the doctor to see the dog. Damn. J just for him to be in the room with the doctor, it's 300 bucks. I'm like, whatever, let's go. I don't want my dog to die. So we put him in that motherfucker. <sighs> they done charge me over 300 bucks on top of that shit just for like medication and like shit for him to get or to pass the the bone all types of shit and then i have to have take him back for a follow-up and they're like yeah so we don't know what's gonna happen yet but bring him back after this medication's over or if he passes the bone i'm like if my dog passes that fucking bone i ain't bringing this motherfucker back for shit so wait how much was it all bro over 600 bucks over six hundred dollars oh total my to take my you dog know, to the motherfucking you know, vet i didn't want to tell you this because you know this is your dog it's your dog. I'll you put him down. I'll put him down. I'll go fuck. No, you, why would you put him down? Fuck that dog. Nah, it's my boy. I'm blushing. This guy, <laughs> man, all in the... Man, see, this guy is going to get into trouble, man. No, no, look, check this out. No. So, look, my roommates I used to uh, live with, dude, they used to feed their dogs hot dogs and tortillas. That's fine. And No, check this out. And not only hot dogs and tortillas, bones all the time. Dude, I used to have, like get chicken wings and I used to give it to them. Dude, little chihuahuas, little terriers, dude, they used to chump them up, bro. You they're motherfuckers, still living. You, you motherfuckers are the next Michael Vicks. That's what you no, are. No, you, you no, You motherfuckers no. can't be doing that to dogs. You no. can get, you can give them beef bones. Beef bones is cool. Cooked chicken bones are not good for dogs. I mean, shoot, dude. They all, okay, think about this. 
you're not always with your dog, are you? Not, not all 24/7, the time. Not 24-7, right? Yeah. So when your dog's outside or when you're not even home, I'm pretty sure he's eating things that you don't even know. Of course, about. but none of it is ever chicken bones, I guarantee it. Are you sure? Guaranteed. Ain't I, I will beat my roommate's ass if I ever find out this dog motherfucker's sometimes giving him chicken wings. Some, dogs sometimes eat, like, toys and shit. Bro, you'd be surprised with a dog. Let they, him eat. Let him live. The point is, this motherfucker better be alive in a few minutes or, like, in a few days because... Yeah. He's fine, bro. Dog, 600 He's bucks fine. just for that motherfucker to die? Uh-uh. He's you fine. ain't even getting cremated. I'm tossing that motherfucker on the freeway. 600 bucks. Oh, that's how I'm talking. This, this guy's a savage, y'all. This Leave guy's me alone. A savage. I just, dog, listen. Th- that brings me to this question because I was talking to, to my roommate about this shit. He has a dog, too. And I was thinking like this. Would you be able to put your dog down? Like, would, like if, if, if let's say the vets are closed. Right. Right? Fuck it. Coronavirus. Shut everything down. Would you be able... To kill your dog if your dog was suffering, like if he's old, he's got some bad hips or some shit, and you got to be the one to put him down. Oh man, it's, you know it's so crazy. Uh, you know I used to work at the dog grooming. I remember that. Um, so a lot of dogs do come in there, dude, like fucking Harley, barely even making it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And dude, I'd be like, dang, dude, what, what would I do in this situation? Like, would I even like want this dog to be going through this? Or I mean, it's a life, you know. All dog lives matter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh. I uh, to me I wouldn't want to see them suffer. I feel like if they're suffering, you know, and I I couldn't. I would just have to put them. I wouldn't either though, low key. Uh, on some real shit, I wouldn't want to. But I'm putting that motherfucker down, bro. Like I, it doesn't hurt me to know that I have so, to kill my dog if I know that he's hurt. You know what I mean? I feel that. I feel you know what that. I mean? Like if I had to, and we and we even went into specifics, like. I have a gun. I own a gun. I'm a legal California gun owner, and I dare somebody to come through the crib. Now, I, I own a gun. If I had to shoot my dog in the head, I think I could do it. However, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to keep it 100. I think that if it had to, like if I had no bullets in the house, I think I could cut my dog. Like I think I could stab my dog, bro. Would you be able to put down a family member like that? Hell no. I, I couldn't. That's not my fault. I couldn't do Damn, it. Damn, bro. Oh, right. I would. I, would. <laughs> I put that motherfucker down in a heartbeat, bro. If I knew it was good for him, if I knew it was good for him, only if I knew it was good for him. No, dude, I can't kill a dog, bro. I mean, I can't kill a person. I, I can't kill a dog. I can't. I can't do that. I, can, you know, if they like drafted me to the army, be like, yo, take me to jail. Damn. I, but I couldn't, bro. I don't know. I just feel like that's against like. Damn. Godzilla. But then again, if someone's trying to kill me, then you know I got only one step to do. Well, of course. I mean, all is fair when your life is in danger. I mean, that's a different person coming yeah. out, bro. You're going to have to defend yourself but one way or the other. But to make me, like, to train me to be a killer, like, <laughs> out of nowhere, man, shit, fuck. <laughs> that shit was suck. But that's what that is. <laughs> we done fucked around and paid over 600 bucks for my dog to eat a goddamn chicken bone. And now I was thinking, like, man, I might as well have just came to the fucking podcast, just let my lady kept fucking with that dog and the stupid bone. I got over there, my dog chewed that shit. I didn't even chew it up, swallowed it up. Now I'm, he better pass that shit whole. If he doesn't, oh my god, my god he will be oh fine. God, he will bro. be fine. But yo, we are all. If you are just tuning in on my live, which we got two people in right now, and I see someone said something, so I gotta check. They said I text you, bro. I was supposed <laughs> Where to, my money at? I was supposed to <laughs> tap in. Damn dog, you a cold nigga. I did not receive a text, so I don't know what you're talking about. But <laughs> who is? Um, yeah, we. yeah uh, I'll holler at you in the DM. That's the homie. Right? That's the homie. Uh, homie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I'm saying. Um, so, have you seen Kanye West? Mr. I haven't. Easy. He put me on. Mr. Easy. I need to cop them lokes though. I seen them shits. That's the only thing I could find so, on the internet. You, yep. what, you, you liked it, bro? I fuck with those. I could rock those. Why? Cause I got I got that face. You look like a nigga that. Nah, bro. Look, like, listen. Shit, you look, bro. you look like the kind of man that ain't never had a pair of Yeezys in his life. Okay. Dude, I, first of all, right. first of all every, me, every man in the world. Let me break it down. <laughs> Yeezys are like a cool kid fucking for high school. Those are high school shoes. Like, Hell nah, bro. Only when cool kids wear those. Came out, only cool kids oh, wear those, man, bro. Look, man. I, dude. I, when I was driving for Uber, bro, I used to pick up like so many like kids in the hills and shit, dude, and all. They were like, Yo, my Yeezys, my Yeezys, my Yeezys. Yeah, the fuck, bro. No, no. Not Let me tell you something. First of all, Yeezys are ugly as fuck. No, they're not, bro. No, they're you not. They're, they're fresh out You here? lack taste. Nigga. Yo, yo. You lack please fashion tell me, sense. Y'all, please tell me. Do y'all like anything from Kanye West's? 
Let's ask the homie as he passes by. As you pass by, I want you to say if you like Yeezys or not. Oh, I already know what he's going to say. I already know what he's going to say. Most of the women look all that great. Oh, man. See, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call him over and he'd hit me with that. Thank you. I think I'm telling you no one likes Yeezys, yo. If you're in my live right now, please tell me. Do you like Yeezys, yo? Do you like Yeezys? You got to fuck with the Yeezys. No, Yeezys are only for, first of all, this is the thing about Kanye West's gear, all right? One, he's just selling us anything. In anything, he's letting us know that he can just, bro. He has Sunday service, right? Check this out, Sunday service, and cool. they're outside, I guess, Wyoming. You know his uh, his little farm, and this nigga literally had his uh, choir singing in prison gear. We're all a slave to something, bro. See, Prison you're not gear. deep, bro. Prison, but why would you want to wear it? Why are you trying to take this back? It's a protest. <laughs> why are you trying bro? to take it's this a, back? It's a protest, bro. That's not a pro. And this is the thing. I don't see niggas wearing Yeezys. Who wear it? No, I'm like, like his clothing. I don't see people. Do you know any? I mean, that shit's expensive. I don't Besides know nobody that can afford shoes. that and shit. the fact that they're expensive, too, at that. I'm not going to lie. You know what? When we were in West Hollywood, I did, I did see somebody that rocked it, but it was one of them rich, you know, fashion motherfuckers. Now, do they have, like, the shirt? That they like, had the big-ass <laughs> shirt. Look, bum as fuck. Yep, yep, that one. Yeah, I can. I they can. had that one, and they had the Yeezy, the, the, the Yeezy shoes. I don't know if he made pants, but then pants look like shit too. So chances I've are. I've seen I've seen some ugly shit, bro. Fuck that. I can't. I can't I, do I'm, it. I'm 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 telling you right now, bro. Yeezys fly if you can pull that shit off, bro. You just gotta have a certain body. Like you gotta be buff, like me. And or, or you or you gotta <laughs> or you gotta be nice and skinny and slender because that's the type of shit that he goes for. He makes he makes he makes clothes for models, people that can pull this shit off. Because <clears throat> if you see no. See, you five six, all right. First of all, you over here with that. Five six, I'm six one. <laughs> I'm six one, bro. I'm saying like height. this though. Respect my height, uh, bro. Respect it. What's wrong with five six, huh? I don't know. Ask the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ladies in the comment section. All right, the five What's six the is it, you, five is six five passes. Six, is five six like okay? five six passes? <laughs> or is it like nah, nah, nah bro? You gotta put some shoes on. Five six passes. Five six passes. I, this Who is said? the cutoff. Who said? If you want a bad, if you want a baddie, baddies cut it off at five six. Are you sure? Yep, baddies yo, cut it are, off at five yo, six. If you just came into my live, are you willing to date a guy? Do you cut off? At 5'6"? Five, 5'6". Six? Five, six. Five, six, is that a good enough height for you? Or does he need to be taller? Let me know. Please let me know on the live. And please let me know in the comments. I'm saying cut off, bro. I'm saying cut off. We're cut off for we sure. We are going to find out. Is 5'6 a good enough height? I'm actually glad and blessed to be 6'1", bro. Sometimes 6'2 on a good day. Yeah, okay, with your high heels on. <laughs> <laughs> on a good day. You feel me? And that's the thing about it, bro. Like, when you have, you know what I'm saying? When you're black and... Handsome, you just have all these good jeans, man. Damn. It's just, Damn. It's just I feel you. I know what it's like to be a black man in today's society. Hey, I mean, man. Hey, right on, right on, <laughs> yeah. right on, right on, right on. So let's see. All right, we look. We got so. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 Five six is fine because I'm only Let's five Let's go. Two. Let's hey, go. She said only because she's she five a baddie. Two. I can tell she by that profile pic she a baddie. She a baddie. She so only there you go. She's five two. Yeah, hey. so exactly. Hey, but yo, what's up with that six one though? You trying to you trying to climb a ladder though? You got no, a ladder. To I climb guarantee this. you, bro. Look, the profile pic is on point. She's she's, she's five, five, five two five, five six. Five, boom, that's baddie cutoff. I'm telling you, bro. Five six is good enough. I'm telling you right now. Five six is good enough. that's funny as shit. Thank you. Whoever that is. Thank, Thank you, you. All right. <laughs> Somebody needs to support me at some point, bro. I done lost every argument we've been in this fucking hey, company. Man, look. Hey, that's just one person, dude. I wish this was a lot more people. One is Bring enough. People in. All right, one is enough. Um, one but, is enough. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Go back to what we were talking about. Um, Wait, check this out. Did you check out the movie Project Power? I didn't. I haven't checked it out. Has anyone in the comments, if you are on my live right now, did you see Project Power? Let us know. Um, let's see. All right. You haven't seen it. Nah. For you guys who have not seen it, I'm going to let you guys know it is trash. Damn. It's trash. Uh, one thing about movies, y'all, I'm very zoomed, I'm very tuned in with movies. I, you know, because I, I, I make movies. Well, I don't make movies, but that's one day. One thing I'm going to do, and... Hey, don't give me that look, motherfucker. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, this is a video slide. Look, see how... 
Shade, look, bro, look. Hey, you see, you see, this is what this how you do, nigga. See, this is a true nigga at heart. I'm dehydrated, look, bro. I'm dehydrated. I started a I podcast see. with this nigga. And this nigga saw it. I'm gonna be bored in this podcast. All right, I'm going to be bored in this podcast. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wish we, this guy's like, are y'all famous on YouTube? No, not yet, but we will be. Let me tell you we something. We will man. be. Let's go. Give me a dap. We will be. Give me a dap. And whoever asked that, that's because he likes it. Yeah, you better like it, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, look, just, look, if I was you, man, look, we got a lot of content on my YouTube. Link in the bio. Link in the bio. And check it out, man, because we, 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 uh, it's popping. We got some good episodes on there. But um, yep. back to Project Power. So, trash ass movie has Jamie Foxx in there, which I was really excited. That's mm. a mm. black drawer, right? Um. And I believe this movie is going to come out in movie theaters, but because we're in a pandemic, the situation we're in. This shit is free. Yeah, you know, they had to put it on Netflix. And the thing is about Netflix, bro, this is how I, this is how I feel about Netflix, and you guys can cancel me if you want. But um, I think of Netflix movies are like kind of like. The stereotypical type of a black business, if you get what I'm saying. So it's like always oh, not. It's like I'm gonna have to cut this out. <laughs> but no, <laughs> no, it's like it's always not up to par. You know what I'm saying? The, I'm saying that. the stereotype of it. I it's always that. like I feel that it's 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 always not fully there. Not saying all black businesses are like that. I'm just saying the stereotypical way. That's how I think of Netflix. Not every bo- not every black movie can be Friday. Right. Not every black movie can be next Friday. Not every black movie can be Friday after next. Every single one of them motherfucking movies was a classic. Oh, yeah, man. Every single one of those is a classic. Especially if you come from a fucked up area because that shit is everyday life for some people. That shit hit me and my mom in the motherfucking soul when that movie came out. Because it was real. That shit talked about the shit that happens in the motherfucking real life, bro. Real life, that shit happens. But I'll tell you like this. I ain't watched it. I probably won't watch it now that you told me this shit's trash. You know what I do be watching? Bojack Horseman. That's the shit we need to be watching. Everybody in the motherfucking, in the comment section need to be watching that bullshit. That Bojack? Shit I uh, heard about that. But yeah, other than that, I'm telling you motherfuckers like this. Look, hey, I don't know who the fuck I'm voting for this year's election. I have no idea if my vote's even going to get fucking counted. I'm just saying like this, bro. I have a feeling Trump's going to win this motherfucking election, I don't know, bro. dude. I think I this motherfucker's going to win it, bro. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. All but type of rigging and shit going on. When October and November hit, dude, we're in August, right? September, October. Y'all, put your seatbelts on. That's all I can say. Biden is winning California for sure. He's going to win California. There's, there's look, no question about it. This is what I'm it. saying. Look. Put your seatbelts on, bro. It's 2020. It's been a crazy ass fucking year. Has it not? It has. Right? So check this out. Bernie comes back with a steel chair and fucking. No, well, well, check this out. Speaking of, like, you know, we were talking about Kanye West. How is he still, how is he on the ballot? Anybody can be on the ballot. So, okay, so why have the debates then? Why even go to the debates then if you can just be on the ballot? Well, because obviously if you go to the fucking ballots and you didn't see, if you've been watching the debates and you don't know a name, you're not going to vote for that motherfucker. You don't even know who the fuck you're voting for. But what, okay, so you're telling me I, if I had enough money. Yeah. If I had enough money. Bro, you don't have to have shit. You just have to be of certain age and a U.S. citizen and you can run for president. But how can Kanye West just be on the ballot right He's now? on the ballot, bitch. He, he beats the requirements. He's over a certain age. But, dude, he didn't do a debate. He's he a didn't U.S. Do citizen. He didn't do you don't need to. None of those shits are necessary. Yeah, They're just dumb, helpful to you dumb. if you want to win the public. Dumb. That's if you're trying to win, you got to do the shit. But if you want to be on the ballot, you can be on the ballot. Dude, I feel like Kanye West is a puppet, and this is all in the works to help get Trump more votes. I'm going to tell you more like this. I'm going to tell you like this. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, you didn't vote for Obama. I wasn't even like of age to vote yes, for you Obama, were. nigga. Yes, you were. No, we definitely were of age no, when, for at least the second term. At least the second term. I At least the second I, time. I don't even know what I was doing in, in, in that time period. See, that's how I know. See, I don't even see, know. See, that's how I know you didn't vote for doing? Obama. What were you right. doing, though? Me voting for Obama. That's what the fuck I was doing. I was voting for Obama when Obama came out. And you know why? I, I'll never forget it. There was a uh, an old black man. He was a vet. 
and he used to sit in a wheelchair. He was living off of a disability for the rest of his life. He, he was a vet. He got shot in the war. And he was addicted to fucking pain meds. And he was addicted to alcohol. And I remember he came up to me. 2008. I'll never forget it. The year that we were supposed to vote Obama in the office. <laughs> and this old motherfucker comes up to me. He goes, hey, Carlos, how you doing? I was like, what's up, man? His name was John. I was like, what's up, John? She, none. Y'all voting? I was like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to vote. You know, I don't think my vote matters and shit. He's like, well, look, I tell you like this. It matters to me. So you vote for Obama now. I vote for, what would he say? I vote for Rodriguez later. <laughs> I was like, all right, you cool. This I nigga. was like, you cool. All right, I vote for this motherfucker now. He didn't know I was 17 at the time. I know for a fact I couldn't have voted on the first one, but the second one, guaranteed I voted for Obama for the second one. Yeah. How can you not? It's a black president. You mean to tell me you don't want a black president, bro? I want a Mexican I mean, president. I, I, want, a, I want an Asian I president. I wasn't into the politics at the time. We got to let everybody hit that, bro. We can't just let that, time. that. We can't let that office just be used. To just old white men, first bro. Of all, no, first of all, the thing is, I think this is the problem. We get, we fall in love with the person. We should be more worried about their policies. You feel me? Well, of course. That's what we should more care about. We, we, but that we should really, never matter. Yeah, because they but, always no, get bought out. Th- but that's the thing, though. That That's the thing, though. We're, I think we're more focused on who the personality is and who it is than the actual their actual policies, bro. Think about it. Because their policies don't fucking matter. They'll tell you one thing and then something else will happen. They always so, get bought so, out so when they're So what is there. the presidency just a face? Yeah, the fuck? Why wouldn't it be? There, there, there's always something. There's always something but that's, behind that, but that's the presidency. That's what I'm saying. The problem is as, us as a people, we really just need to dig into their policies. What are they really trying to do? What the fuck are they really trying for? Bro, nobody will ever know. It's like, okay, if you had a secret, how the fuck am I supposed to find out? Bro, I have to be you to do that. Everybody has, and now imagine a secret guarded by other rich, powerful motherfuckers. You're never going to get a hold of that. You're never going to get a hold of that. That's the way that shit works. That's what I'm saying. Look, at the end of the day, he's going to win this motherfucking he's election. Not, we're going to be stuck with this motherfucker for another four no, years. Dude. Black people still going to be getting killed by motherfucking cops. You know what I mean? Mexicans going to be getting paid under the under the motherfucking table, less than less than minimum wage and shit. Like, nothing's going to change, bro. I guarantee it. Nothing's going to change. No, nigga. It's going to fucking change, bro, and I believe it. Because uh, we got Joe Biden and we got Camilla. The baby, baby raper Camilla and the motherfucking... Aaron. Bro, you were saying... You were calling... Me, so, uh, oh, shit. Look, this bird. This bird's always here. Um... <laughs> You're you're gonna say Joe Biden's a baby raper? Bro, hell yeah. Okay, so what about Trump? They're all baby rapers. What is Trump Every saying? Single, all of them. This nigga be kissing on his fucking daughter, bro. Let, that's that's some white shit. All white people uh, but, do that but, shit. Uh, all white people do that shit. I bet he would bone her. I bet he would bone her. He'd be sucking on her titties. I yeah. bet he would bone Ivanka, bro. Let him. That's him. They're all gross, bro. All the motherfuckers so, are yeah, gross. No, so you, it, it, you're telling me you're you're cool with Trump. I'm sure. not cool with nobody. No, I hate about. everybody. Yeah. Listen, anybody that wants to run for president, I hate you, period. Okay? Because nobody, listen, nobody wants to get into that position to do good by other people. It's always some shit you do for yourself. All right? The first thing they teach you in psychology, not probably not the first thing, but one of the things they teach you in psychology classes is you always subconsciously do something for yourself. And there's not a person that can be a good leader unless they know for a fact that they're doing it for other people. Guaranteed. Everybody that runs for president does it for some fucking weird ass shit that they they themselves want to capitalize on. Agenda, bro. Everybody has an agenda, agenda, even if it's just to stroke their own fucking ego. Bro, that's the reason why they split us up, bro. What the fuck is uh? Yeah, bro. Democrats and the Republicans. We gotta stick together, you know what I mean? I'm over here hot. Welcome. Uh, We got Corey in the store. We got Young (laughs) Carter in the house. We got everybody in the house, y'all. And actually not because they just got off, but welcome to my live. Welcome to Chopping It Up, the podcast. And I'm telling you like this. Look, fuck all that. Trump's going to win. Everybody knows 5-6 is the cutoff for baddies. Okay. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Okay, well, look, look. What's the shortest you're willing to go if she's a baddie? Ooh, man. I mean, for me, it doesn't... I mean, dating... Or are we talking about just like messing you, around? People gonna see you with her for sure. I mean, I can kick it with any girl. Like, four eleven. That's my cutoff. Four eleven. I mean, anything below four eleven. Not too fucking short. Not too like. I mean, not midget short. Four eleven, bro. I'm telling you right now, four eleven is my cutoff. Oh uh, shoot. Four ten. Anything below that? That's a little squirrely. 
That's a little too short for me. I can't do that. 411, you're on the precipice of five. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? That's what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to take you at below average, okay? I'm willing to it's take you at a gym, discount. Smashing and chilling is two different things. Okay. I'll fuck anything. I won't. I, I, <laughs> I won't. But Bro, I'll, I'll fuck a mission. You mean to tell me that if the opportunity erupts, well, actually, you know what? You almost had a porn star and you chose not to. So, yeah, I believe you. Dude, there's a, you. there's a lot. Bro, we are to that. There's a hell of reasons why I could not have smashed the porn star. Because, because you, you didn't, didn't want to. I had a girlfriend at the time. I'm not a cheater, bro. I'm not a cheater. cheater. <laughs> I'm not a cheater, bro. And y'all, in the comments. And yo, if you're on my live, yo, if a porn star threw all right, back, y'all. So, back to the motherfucking story. Um, where were we at before our commercial? Look, this is what the fuck we're talking about. I was telling you I fuck anything. Midget, Down Syndrome. Do you watch... No Legs. Do you watch midget porn, bro? Would you? I've seen it. Do you like it? I mean, I'm not going to rub one out to it, but <clears throat> I could watch it. You've seen it, though. What did you do? Did you just watch it and were you turned off? You'd be surprised at what the fuck I was doing back in 2008, 2009 on the internet, bro. That's, that, that was me at 18. Like, what, like, what did you do? I was rubbing out like five nuts a day. Like, bro, I'm talking, I used to be on the internet all the time looking up all types of crazy shit. <laughs> bro, I would look up bukkakis and shit. I would try to find a way, I would try to find a video that would make me get off the internet. Like, I was like, okay, let me try to see what I can see today that's going to fuck around, bro. And I'll never forget it. I finally watched the I watched the video that finally got me off the internet. Bro, for like a month, I was like, I ain't fucking with the internet, bro. Like, this is too much. This is way too much. Because I've watched a lot of whoa, shit. Wait, like, what was it, dude? Oh, like, uh, bro, you want to hear this? You want to hear this? Yeah. I, I, wait, but hold on. Are we getting story time or no? I mean, we, just, we can't get into story time. We still got some time left, man. Because we still. I'll tell you like about. this. Look, who this? Who who who's on this movie? Uh, we got someone. We got Alyssa. What's good? Alyssa, what the deal? Look, hey, I'm about to tell you a story, Alyssa. You better strap on for this one. This is a good one. So check us out. Are we getting into it? I'm getting into it. All right. 2008, 2009. Or no, I'm not about to tell this story. <laughs> I don't, I'm really afraid about where this story could go. It's gonna go. It's gonna go deep. Oh it scared me off God. the internet. Just imagine that. A man that's willing to stab his dog to death is, 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 it was scared off the internet from this video, bro. All right. Like, I was good. All right, let me hear it. Let me All hear right, it. so let check this out. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. I'm out here, 2008, 2009. I'm 17, 18, right? And my hormones are rampant. I think I want to be a fucking Satanist. I think that I want to, you know, join the military. I'm thinking all types of shit, right? But the only thing that I have is the internet and I have... A lot of time fresh out of high school I get on the internet and I'm just trying to find all the shit that I can right every anything that I can to try to disgust myself right I'm just trying to get off the internet so this is what I do I start looking up like you know easy shit you know like people getting him the dick and doing funny shit like that and then I was like this is funny none of this shit is nasty so and I start watching like you know ISIS was big back in 2008 2009 so I used to watch like beheading videos and shit and I was like at first I was like oh, but then I was like all right it's getting kind of easy to watch this shit then we started I was like I wonder if there's any like weird porno shit that I can watch that could be like oh, right so then I would watch all kinds of shit like bitches shooting shots of semen and doing all kinds of crazy shit and then I was like none of this is get like getting it dog one day I went on like Eight hours straight on the internet. I'm talking about eight hours straight, just going deep on the internet. And bro, guess what the fuck I found on the internet, bro? I watched a video of a man in a prison in, in in like a Central American country, and he's getting fucked. Like dudes are raping the fuck. Why out are of you this watching dude. this, bro? bro that's I'm, actually hella weird. I'm bro. eight hours deep. Fuck that you're watching that. It took me to watch <laughs> prison. Men, fuck another dude is hella weird. Yeah, bro. Gotta, wait, wait, I think see, that explains the reason why your name is hot. You yeah. have, <laughs> you haven't let me finish the motherfucking story. Right. So, so listen, listen. So, so it's an eight-hour thing. Like I was on the internet for eight hours trying to find some fucked up shit, and I finally found it. But check this out. It's like a, it's like a Central American prison, right? So it's not like a regular American prison. It should just looks like, like, like like huts basically it's it's like a concrete a building, building and there's yeah. nobody's, nobody's locked up nobody has chains they're just motherfuckers that are kept in a certain space so it's dark as fuck they stripped this dude naked and they're like force fucking this dude like they're forcing him dog they're stabbing this dude they're poking him in the ribs with some knives and shit and bro i was like i'm done i'm done all right this and is what it. were you doing around this time like were you just yakking to it no no yeah, no no, no, fuck no. Him up. Fuck i was like this i was like this
It had, but I was on the internet for eight hours, bro. Eight fucking hours. My eyes were look, bloodshot look, red, bro. Look, Alyssa was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bro, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Right. She said, what the fuck is wrong? I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm with you. This is a real with fucking you. story. This I'm with story. you. Y'all listen to the story. This nigga literally said he looked. <laughs> he's on the fucking internet around what? 2008, 2008, 2008 2009. How old were you at? How old were you? I was like 18, 18 years old this when I watched 18. that shit. He's, oh, he's technically a grown man. Bro. Uh, you're, you're technically a dog. God damn it. You're technically a goddamn man. Have you ever seen? Seen don't fuck with cats. Bro, I don't look up. Bro, I am black. No, no, no. I don't, don't, don't fuck with cats. We don't do shit. Look up. It's shit. on Netflix. You gotta watch that one. That's a good one. So don't fuck with cats is on Netflix, right? I'm not gonna spoil, spoil it for nobody in the like comments. Porno, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, gonna spoil, spoil it for nobody, nobody in the comments. But I'm gonna tell you like this. Look, I in don't fuck with cats. The whole thing is about this video, right? That surfaced on the internet, right? You have to watch it. It's a, it, You have to watch it. It's a really good... Oh, she gone. <laughs> but it's, it's a really good one, right? You have to watch it to understand it. But there's a video there that's very controversial, right? I watched that shit when it came out. And I remember because I watched it because I was going deep on the internet. And I found it. And bro, I didn't believe that shit was real. I was like, this shit is fake. Ain't no way somebody's doing this shit. To-. Bro, watch the documentary. I'd rather not. Watch <laughs> okay. the documentary, bro. And That's I'll tell you right, right now. I was like, oh my God. When I found out the Netflix did a thing on it, I was like, oh, this shit was for real. That's crazy. But you know what? The fact that you're just like looking that. Bro, the fact that you looked that up and you're okay watching it, it kind of reminds me of like two girls and one cup. Did you ever see bro, that? Bro, I used to have that shit on my iPod and I used to show it to people at school. <laughs> you were the kid. You were the kid that. Yeah, yeah you watched two girls one cup. You were the first dude that brought it, dude. I remember that, bro. I remember my friend. Shout out to fucking Lawrence. <laughs> oh, Lawrence. Let's go, Lawrence. I, dude, I remember, dude. This dude literally fucking. I remember, I don't know, I think it was my friend Josh, Josh Kamar say, this nigga <laughs> literally put the fucking video on, right? He put the video on, and we're in fucking computer, uh, computer class, I don't even know what you call that, uh, back in the day, but uh, let's, let's call, call it like computer, computer program. program. Yeah, 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 you know, ICU, or, or computer lab, lab. Computer yeah, lab. computer lab, right? And my friend puts it on, you guys seen two girls in one coffee, you know, this is going all around the yeah. fucking internet, yeah. bro. Yeah. This nigga playing it, bro. Next thing you know, we see these two girls, you know, Chinese girls making out and shit. And next thing you know, the girl bends over, shit all up in the cup. Just, and I literally about to throw up, bro. All my friends are like, what the fuck? We're making a big old scene. My friend fucking Lawrence is just laughing at it. All right, all right check, check this out. He's like, ha, ha, ha. Just laughing. I at couldn't it. laugh. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck are you? There's nothing, nothing funny, funny about that. that. Lawrence is a freak. Oh, Lawrence dude, is a freak. Yeah, dude. Freak. He has to be a hell of a freak. Bro, Lawrence, I think you're a freak. And the thing is, he's a Scorpio. Just like I am. So I know he's on some so weird shit, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know he's on some weird shit, bro. You gotta watch this podcast. Bro. I'm gonna tell you like this, though. I'm gonna tell you like this. Look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you like this. Two girls, one cup. To me, what was the one thing about that video that made you be like, because everybody had a gag oh, reflex to that video. video. Everybody well, had first, a gag first reflex. First, first, seeing them shit in the cup. Okay, that, that was that, it. They're like, no, no, no. Just like seeing it go in there, just so smoothly. It was so smooth. It literally yeah. went. It was like a magnetized in there, you know? Bomb. That shit looked like ice cream, bro. That shit looked good. I'm going to tell you like this, though. I'm going to tell you like this, though. Look, what got me about that video was... I mean, I could watch oh, that shit. licking the fucking shit. I could watch all that shit. shit. That's, That's fine. I, I could watch it. it. Here's the thing that got me. The thing that got me was... I could I could picture the smell of the shit like I myself could be like like how are you gonna put that shit in your mouth like it doesn't it stink like the way it looked you could tell that shit has some Burger King in it came out you knew that bitch just like, had some oh. chicken tenders it looked yeah it looked steamy Bruh. it looked steamy right it. it looked hella it. steamy uh, the girls just right, let's, let's, like <laughs> nothing nothing I'm like fuck no Bruh. but let me tell you about the time I first saw my first porn. You say I wait. <laughs> this is the first time I saw a porn, bro. No, All look, right, go ahead, go ahead. I was actually low key <laughs> disgusted. I was actually low key disgusted. Did you watch two motherfuckers? <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. So look, I'm really young at this time. I'm a young child, very innocent, don't know, very ignorant. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. And I remember my parents wasn't home and my cousins wasn't home. Uh, and my cousin, he was kind of weird. He was the weird type. He was the weird type to like, you know, call the 8100 numbers. And yeah, he, okay. he used to always get in trouble for that. 1 800 fuck ass. Yeah, he used to yeah. always get in trouble for that shit, right? And I just remember going into, inside our closet and checking through his shit, being a little kid, you know, uh, sneaky. Uh, and I saw this DVD. And the DVD said, Big Black Dicks 3. What, what the, the fuck? <laughs> big Black 
six, three. I was like, cool, big black booties. I was like, all right. That's not, cool. <laughs> not one. I see not nothing wrong with that video. He had the, the, the hold of three, y'all. He had, the, he had volume three. Was my man Brian Pumper in that movie? You know? I don't know. All right? It was a black porn, too. You know how black porn is, right? So, low budget shit was shot in Android. Right? I go into my grandma's room. I put in her DVD player. I close the door. Ah! I close the door. No, no, no. I, I, I had to see what this is about. Right? You I had to. I you had to. Had to. No. Couldn't really do that. I saw a fucking black fucking, uh, uh, a whole bunch of niggas raping a nigga in jail. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the right? fuck did you think you were going to see? The name of the movie is no, Big Black Dicks no, 3. Right? <laughs> right. I just had to see. I had to see. So, I looked at this shit. <laughs> I put it in. And this dude, like, yo, this had a fucking, yo, surprisingly, yo, yo, surprisingly, you know the stereotype of black porn, right? Black porn, yeah. there's no, no storyline, they just get to it. They and he's cool as fuck, too. But he no, probably got some do rag and some boots on. This, this was too, but this was special because this was volume three. This is volume three. So, so they, they have it down pat, my They got it down pat. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, like, there's a storyline to this bitch, yeah. right? So, I guess this girl was, like, trying it uh. out. She was trying to be, a, like, a porn star. <sighs> so, she's like, yo, let me see it. Let me see. Uh, she's like, let me see. Uh, like, this dude was sitting there. He looked like fucking... Uh, uh, Death Row's up. Death Row, the Death Row dude. Fucking Shug Knight. Shug Knight. He looked like Shug Knight. He looked like Shug Knight, right? It was Shug Knight. And the girl, she was a black a black chicken. She was like, yeah, this is that. And he's like, all right, let me see what you got. So she started bending the way, showing her shit, right? Then the, then the video then the video went, like, to some black porn. She just <laughs> cut out of nowhere. <laughs> just cut out of nowhere straight to fucking. Straight you know? to balls. Straight to fucking. Action. The girl, was just, he was just hitting it from the back. The girl's like, oh, 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 right? And I was like, oh, shit. Well, this nigga pulls out his dick, yo, and I'm not even playing. This is my first attempt at seeing any other fucking dick in my life. This nigga's dick was this fucking dude, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'm not playing, y'all. It was this huge. And my mind was just like, yo, he can't wear shorts. He can't wear underwear. Like, he can't. Like, there's no fucking way that you can be like, you know what I'm saying? There's no way that you can have, like, that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm got a third leg, bro. <laughs> literally, dude. And it, I was I was literally, bro, I was disgusted by it. And then on top of that, bro, I didn't know what sperm was at this time. Damn. I did not know what sperm was. So this nigga was just yakking on her face. And I was like, what the fuck is this white <laughs> shit coming on her face? Bro, and this is my first... Attempt of looking at porn, bro. Oh, My first attempt, so I don't know. I'm very ignorant to it all, bro. And this <laughs> thing is literally just all over. It's all in her face, and it just ended. And I was just like, yo, that's weird. I don't <laughs> never want to do that. And she was sucking it. I, bro, I was, I was, I was disgusted. Well, bro, very disgusted. This, okay, well, two things. First of all, you can ever get mad at me for telling a rape story when I get I've been raped by women you over here watching Big Black Dicks 3 first of all first of all that was what the fuck first of all second of all I'm out here telling stories of dudes getting raped in prison that I look for there you go I just realized see I hate this guy I literally hate this guy I was trying to get off the internet I hate him I was trying to get off the internet you fucked around and watched it because you wanted to watch this shit first of all let's back Track because you said fucking eight hours. You were on the fucking bitch for eight hours. Yeah, searching for something to get you off. The Not only that, I was on that bitch for eight hours searching to get me off. But the name of the video wasn't dude getting raped. It was some other shit. It was prison attack. That's what it was called. It, it, it was Central so, American oh, wait, prison wait, wait. attack. So you just thought it was just some niggas getting beat up? Cause your yeah. Whole, Cause no, cause your whole search is looking for porn. So you you're, you no, think no, no, no. that would come up in the? It wasn't line? porn though. It wasn't porn though. It was. It was. I was looking up nasty shit. So some of it was porn so though. Some of it was attacks and, dude, and murders. And dude, and you know what? There's no excuse because your ass was fucking 18. Okay? Yeah, so what? Your ass was fucking 18, so you know how the internet I was lost, works. bro. I was lost at the moment. I was lost. Not the fucking point. The point is, you grabbed the VHS. That re Did you know how to read? Did you know how to read? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, okay and, and you, you read, read that the thing said Big Black Dicks 3. I want to know. And you still popped that bitch inside of the motherfucking VHS. I look, 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 <laughs> look, y'all. As a kid, <laughs> being young, I got, I had to know what was going on. I didn't see what my cousin was into. All right, I had to know. So I looked it up, and I wasn't satisfied. All right, but then you know, you fast forward. What I think probably like four or three years later, and I figured out what the white stuff was. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> no Drake, but yeah. Oh man, god damn it. Dude. Look, I'm telling you motherfuckers like this. Look, 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 look. You motherfuckers are lucky I even got an episode today, okay? But I'm going to tell you like this. We're going to have to cut this one to 40 minutes, all right? So you guys are getting cut 20 minutes short just because Hot Carl has to get to the gym to choke people unconscious. <laughs> yeah, we actually did. You know, we actually did have a good uh, combo. T- but hold on, hold on. Before we even, like, hit, we're not, before we even close it. All right, hit me with the rap. Hold on. 6 9 Oh, oh shit. 6 9 We got to hit that. Yeah, we got to hit that. 6 9 y'all, has been in, oh, yeah, shout out to Nadine. The shorty, she is from, I believe, overseas. She has an accent. She talks like this. I think it's so sexy. Shout out to Nadine. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this episode like this, you guys. All so right, hit me with it. it. All right. So six nine has actually been in L.A. the states. At the Nipsey Hustle, I can't even keep it. <laughs> <laughs> at the Nipsey Hustle, like, right. at the Nipsey Hustle uh, Memorial, he's been at, at his. Uh, He's been in his paintings and shit. He's been in L.A. hiding, bro. What do you feel about that, bro? This nigga's... Look, bro, at the end of the day, this man is finding the right times to come out. And at the end of the day, motherfuckers know where he's at. And at the end of the day, nobody's doing nothing about it, bro. I'm going to tell you like oh, no. this, look. He's, dude, 20, it's 2020. As much I, I'm as... I'm calling it. This is episode seven of Chopping It Up. I'm not saying I'm doing it, but anything can happen. I feel like something's going to happen. I just feel it. I just feel it. Nobody's down. Shout out to Nadine. Nobody's down, bro. Everybody's Nadine. talking mad shit. Out, Nobody's out, doing it. Nadine, you're in. All right. She's short. What's your cap on height? Is your cap on height five, six? No, what the fuck? What was it? What was it? Yeah, it was five, six. Yeah, nigga, don't see, see? My bad. I thought you said six, Yo, five. I was no, like, what the what fuck? What is your cap? Would you, are you willing to date a guy that's five, six? Or does he need to be taller? Let us know in the comments. Shout out to Nadine. All right, All right. back to what you were saying. Back to what we were saying. Look, bro. At the end of the day, everybody knows where he's at. Everybody knows. Look, bro, you, if you look in the videos, everybody's on the phone and everybody's talking to somebody. Somebody could be on their way. Nobody, nobody's doing anything about it. Now, listen, he's in front of this memorial. He's paying his tributes and wumpty wumpty blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, bro, look, I'll tell you like this. Six, nine, okay, look, look, look. Does he have security like crazy? Yes. Is he super secured and super protected? Yes. Is he winning? I'm going to keep it 100, bro. I think he's winning, bro. He, I don't think that man ever has to do a show again. Yeah. This, man, this, this man could do this. He could just show up random places bro, and just light up bro, the internet. You're, hey, bro, you got to realize he is a hot sensation. I'm not going to I'm not gonna take that away from him. But, bro, he's hiding, bro. He's not really, like, out there, like, you know, he's not out there, like, really doing it. You know what I'm saying? He's not. Yeah, he's he, bro. He's very discreet. He's very discreet about it, bro. Still winning. I, bro, still I don't winning, call that bro. winning, bro. How do you call that winning? You can barely move. You, you can't know move he's by ma- yourself. You know he's capitalizing off of this. You know he's making money. All right. So what'd you say? So Nadine says, "I'm five three. My ideal man is six plus. A minimum is five. No. Nadine, you ain't that shit. That is fine. Yeah, no, you know what, Nadine? Hey, Nadine, just to let you know, your boy is 6'1". So, Na- Nadine. Uh, I qualify. Na- <laughs> Nadine, look, see? <laughs> see? See? Uh, Nadine knows I'll what it you, is. Nadine you, knows what it is. She first likes, of all. She likes to climb the ladder. Nadine, bro. you 5'2". Okay, first of all, all right? What you got yeah, against 5'6"? Five, 5'6 six. Five, six is taller than you. I can't believe... See, Don't be bad. I'm hot. Don't I'm be bad. Hot. Well, still, that's one and one because somebody else said 5'6 was cool. Somebody else said 5'6 was cool and they was the same height. I'll tell you guys like this, look. Why can't we all just get along, y'all? Why can't we look at the content of someone's personality as opposed to the height of their motherfucking statue? Okay, I'm sure fans are to try to be Tory Lanez. <laughs> all right, Nadine said, six, uh, six one says no more, baby. Hey. <laughs> I don't like it. I'll, all right, I'm pulling my dick out on live. I'm pulling my dick out on live. Nadine, let me know when you're trying to come back to the States because I am here. <laughs> uh, this is all on the fucking podcast, chopping it up. <laughs> I'm telling y'all like this. Look, man, hey, Hawk has to make a high. Hot exit, though, yeah, low key. yo, y'all, so, yo, it's been one of those episodes once again, y'all, and I really appreciate the people who's been staying in for the live right yeah. now. Uh, it was great. I actually like having the live, you know, getting people to interact with us That's while true. we're doing it. Nadine, uh, you ain't shit. No, Nadine... <laughs> You already know what to do. Oh, I'm fucking DMs. with you, Nadine. Shout oh, out for staying. DMs, it's all saying? good. There's oh, a lot of prettier DMs. women that are out there with down with five Nadine cents. Nadine is yeah. bad, bro. <laughs> Nadine is bad, bro. Let me tell you. She has an accent. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, um, 
Y'all, it's been one of those episodes, y'all. Um, next week, I think we might need to have that. I think we might need to bring a guest. Yeah, I'm with it. We might need to bring a guest. Uh, I might bring a guest, y'all. We're gonna have another episode on Skype in Nadine so I can roast her ass about talking all that shit about yeah, short people. <laughs> and uh, yo, let me know what y'all like about the podcast because you know we're on episode seven and we YouTube famous. So uh, we're trying to be, you know, we're trying to be. So yo, please share, uh, like, and subscribe, yep. and follow your boy on all social medias. I am on Instagram and Facebook. That's right, Todd. The matter is all Prince Phil loves. And on Facebook, y'all, please like the shit on Facebook, share it. And I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Look, man, take the time to do some yoga. Take the time to say to tell somebody that you know that you love them and give a big old hug, man. There's not a lot of that going on. So let's just all have enough time to care for ourselves and care for other people. And if y'all motherfuckers ever want to learn some surfing, I'm a surfing instructor, so y'all motherfuckers can come through to El Porto down here in Manhattan Beach. We fuck around. I'll teach you how to surf. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, man, it's been one of those episodes. We chopped it up. We had some good talking. Um, yeah, man, he has to get out here, so we're going to cut this one uh, a little short at 45, so you guys don't have to uh, stay tuned for so long. But thank you guys. Please like and subscribe. It's your boy, Prince. It's your boy, Hot Carl. And you have just been watching, chopping it up, the podcast, and you know, we got to take the shot. Yeah. We got to yeah. take the shot. Let's take the shot. No, bro, we got to take the shot. You she don't have my dick, bitch. You don't she have She don't have even if it. I don't have a... Oh, that's how you do, huh? Let me get you a cup of water. It's all good, bro. It's you sure, bro? Are you gonna drink that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drink it out of that. I'll go for it. Drink, that's you're done. That? You gonna drink that? Oh, it's done? It's done. Oh, so you want a shot? I've been thirsty. You want a shot? Okay. I'm thirsty as fuck. Oh, he wants a shot. <laughs> we gonna get a shot, y'all. We gonna get a shot. Nadine, you a hater, okay? Yeah. Look. <laughs> I'm in the valley. I'm not normally this shiny, all right? It's because it's hot as fuck out here. It's fucking hot in the Yo, valley. Yo, pour that bitch up, pour that bitch up, pour that bitch Alyssa, up. Alyssa, for you. Here. Yo, thank you for tuning into the podcast, y'all. Thank you, y'all, because... You know, it's what we do, man. This one's for whoever's down the state. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you got a shot, you got a blunt, man, you know, take a shot. You know what I'm saying? This is it, Woo. the podcast, hey. chopping it up. Uh, uh, good, stop it, big up. Done deal. Whew.